Hello, this is Jennifer Bailey. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to log in to your web host's control panel. Now, in a previous video, I showed you step by step how to set up a web hosting account. So now we need to log in to the control panel so we can install software and control many aspects of your website. When you signed up for your HostGator hosting account, you should have received an email similar to the one that's on the screen here, which provides you with all your information with regards to your account, such as your billing login information, which is different from your login for your control panel, and also the domain you've registered, um, your username and your password and your name server information which we're going to need later on in a future video to get the domain name we registered to point to your new HostGator account. So what you need to do in order to log in to your new HostGator account is you use the domain name that you've registered. So I'm going to use internet-lessons.com, which is one of my websites, that you can use any domain. So at a later date, if you add any new domains into your HostGator account, the same method will work with all of them. So I'm going to open a new tab. I'm going to type in internetlessons.com forward slash cpanel. Now you're going to use your domain here followed by forward slash cpanel and then just push enter. You're now brought to the login screen for the cpanel for your HostGator account or if you're not using HostGator but you're using another website that uses cpanel the login um, screen will also look like this. Now, mine pre-populates itself with its username and password, but obviously for the first time you'll need to type it in from your email. Now, just to point out that the I showed you the email for my login because all my details have now changed, so they won't now work in this account. So all I do now, username in, password, then click login. And this opens up to the HostGator control panel. Now it's worth spending a few minutes browsing through the control panel and seeing different aspects of it to familiarise yourself really. But there's some very useful tools in there which we'll be using in later videos. So in summary from this lecture, you should now be able to log in to your web host control panel from your browser which enables you then to control different aspects of your website and all its files. I'm Jennifer Bailey. Thank you very much for listening.